I'm Rantasmo, and Hollywood Montrose needs more gay. You guys, remember Mannequin? Remember how that movie exists? Remember how it made $36 million more than its budget? So they made a sequel about a girl who gets turned into a mannequin by an evil European wizard? Yeah. I don't really want to talk about any of that. Instead, I want to talk about one particular character within the mannequin mythology. The only character to appear in both movies. I want you all to meet Hollywood Montrose. Hollywood Montrose. Doesn't it just sing? Give me cheekbones. Albert left me that bitch. He said my thighs are too fat to my thighs are too fat to you. <laughs> Hollywood Montrose is a cliche character based on a tired, thoughtless, offensive, insulting stereotype. And I love him. I love everything about him. He is amazing and perfect. His outfits, his sunglasses, his car. Look at this f***ing car. The person who drives this car gets laid every day forever. He is one of the coolest gay characters I've ever seen. Forget the mannequin romance plots, I want an entire movie about Hollywood Montrose. And so Hollywood presents kind of a unique dilemma. Can a stereotype be awesome? The thing about Hollywood is that even though he seems to have been inspired by a very narrow perception of what gay people are like, he's not unrealistic. People like Hollywood do actually exist, many people, and like him, they're usually f***ing awesome. The problem is that Hollywood arrived at a time when virtually every gay character, and especially every black gay character, was some variation on the same archetype. The flamboyant, shrieking hairdresser slash fashion designer slash choreographer who needs a special javelin just for him. I find out that I have, um... Hooper Simplex 10. Haha, <laughs> he has a disease. At least Hollywood is one of the more sympathetic versions of these characters. He's over the top, but he's not meant to be reviled. We're meant to laugh with him, not at him. We're meant to have just as much fun as he is, though I'm not sure that's physically possible. Two things I love to do, it's fight and kiss boy. come on. There's this Nigerian author named... who once said that the problem with stereotypes is not that they are untrue, but that they are incomplete. Hollywood Montrose is one piece of a larger experience. There's nothing inherently wrong with telling his story or other stories like his, but they become stereotypes when they're the only story anyone hears. Hollywood is sort of a mishmash of every gay stereotype in existence. Some are negative, like his vanity and emotional instability, and some are positive, like his biting wit and creativity. But both kinds of stereotypes are problematic. Both minimize an entire group of people to one specific set of traits. It's those jelly donuts. They call to me in the middle of the night. Hollywood! Hollywood, come and get me, Hollywood! Hollywood is a great character, the same way that jelly donuts are a delicious food, but neither is very nutritious. It's much better having a full, balanced meal, because otherwise, it'll end up going straight to your thighs. 